Hello friends, this video on matter and magnetism part 32 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Please make sure that you have watched all the videos till part 31 before going ahead with this one. Now we will look at the circular current loop as magnetic dipole like how we study about electric dipole in case of electrostatics. Similarly, we will talk about something called magnetic dipole. So in case of magnetism, also we have something called magnetic dipole. But in magnetism, a current, a circular current loop acts as a magnetic dipole. So I mean, this is quite strange for you, right? Because in case of when we talk about electric dipole, it is basically a system of two charges of equal magnitude but opposite sign separated by some distance that was known as electric dipole. So you will be expecting something of that sort in case of magnetic dipole also. But when we talk about magnetism, there we do not have anything like magnetic monopoles or cha magnetic charges. So in magnetism, we consider we, or it is found actually that a circular current carrying loop acts as a magnetic dipole. So here I will quickly tell you, I will quickly uh, show you certain evidences which will tell that yes, a, a circular current carrying loop can be considered as a magnetic dipole. Now we know that what is the magnetic field on the axis of a current carrying, circular current carrying loop. Let us suppose if this is a loop which is carrying some current I and if you want to calculate the magnetic field at some point P. So what and we we say that the radius of this coil is R and this point P is located at some distance X. So magnetic field on axis of circular current loop. We have already derived this right in this lesson itself some time back. So that is given by mu naught i r square divided by 2 into r square plus x square to the power 3 by 2 right where x is the position of the point where we want to calculate the magnetic field and r is the radius of the circular loop right. Now, if we assume that x is very, very greater than r, that means if we want to find out the magnetic field at a point which is far away from this circular loop, in that case, we can write this as mu naught i r square divided by 2 into x is cube, right? Because we can ignore r square as r is very small when compared to x. Now, here we know that the area of this loop is equal to pi r square, right? So if we want, we can write r square as a by pi. So this will become mu naught i a by pi, right? Now what is current into area? Current into area is nothing but magnetic moment. So this is mu naught m divided by 2 pi x cubed. So what do you get? So this V becomes, now if you multiply 2 to the numerator as well as denominator, you get mu naught by 4 pi into 2m by x cube. So this is your magnetic field at a far axial point for a circular current loop. Now compare this expression with the expression which you get in electrostatics. So let us try to replace mu naught with 1 by epsilon naught m that is magnetic moment with dipole moment and magnetic field with electric field. So if you replace these things what do you get? You get electric field E is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught 2p divided by x is cube and what is this? This is the electric field at an axial point of electric dipole, right? As I told you before also, electrostatics and magnetism, magnetism, they share a very good analogy. So everything is analogous. So here the expression for magnetic field which you found for an axial point of a circular current carrying loop, if you replace 
the corresponding parameters of electrostatics in that you get an expression of electric field which is the electric field at an axial point of electric dipole so you can see that this is nothing but the magnetic field at an axial point of magnetic dipole so magnetic dipole is nothing but your circular current current loop so you can see that your circular current loop acts as a magnetic dipole so when we talk about magnetism magnetic dipole is nothing but a circular current loop now you must be thinking that at the end of this chapter i'm talking about some small small things in bits and pieces that's because when we go ahead with our next lesson that is matter and magnetism you will find the usage of all these things so now the conclusion for this was that a planar current loop is equivalent to a magnetic dipole of dipole moment m is equal to i into a at large distances see this large distances has an important role to play because since we considered large distance that is why we considered that x is very very greater than r and that is how we derived that expression which is similar to the expression for electrostatics right okay so now let us compare the magnetic dipole with our electric dipole when we think of our electric dipole it consists of two charges when we talk of magnetic dipole it consists of the current loop in electric dipole electric monopoles exist what do i mean by monopoles monopoles means a charge q for example in electrostatic a dipole would mean plus q minus q separated by some distance two way right so in electric dipole each of these charges actually exist so each of these is called monopoles these two together two poles together form a dipole that is two poles so that means monopoles actually exist each of them actually exist but in case of a magnetic dipole it is nothing but a current loop so we cannot separate the two poles of this magnetic dipole however it behaves like a magnetic dipole but you cannot the two cannot separate the two monopoles so we say that magnetic monopoles do not exist when we study the lesson on matter and magnetism you will see that when we study more about magnetism you will get to know that there are so many other evidences which prove that magnetic monopoles do not exist at all Thank you. Please visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thank you once again.